So Kane Richardson to bowl the first ball. It was well forward, Ed Cowan. A bit of a half shout, really. Cowan on the move there, trying to defend. Good pitch. Well, that'll be four. That's nicely timed. That's all you've got to do here at North Sydney. Somewhere near the middle of the bat and find a gap. Oh, it's safe. Wasn't quite out of the middle from Cowan. He's batting a fair way out of his crease as we talked about, and that was on him a bit quick. In the end, he'll take the result, but it wasn't out of the middle of the bat. Oh, a lovely bit of timing from Mattinson. Didn't try to hit it too hard. He, he just put the full face of the bat on the ball and timed it nicely. Might pay dividends later. For Nick Baddinson and it, they don't. They don't. There's the lack of the control we talked about. Many banged it in, saw him coming, and now he's got to go. Oh, good shot. Really good shot. Tight, and compact, and bang out of the middle. I think I've dug out a century. You scored here. And Steve Smith just waiting for the length. He got a little bit of drift in. He did cover his stumps, but he also covered the pill. Full shot, this one. No one's there. Cowan's now 36. Batting like Warner. Down, down, down. Or oh, throws the hand at a cut shot. There's a little bit of protection out there, but for no real reason. Because he can't get it. He's got to get it right, otherwise you get hurt. Good start. Ed Cowan we tied down by Tom Andrews, dismissed by Adam Zampa. Yeah. Oh, it's got him. I can't believe that Shane Watson's missed that. It's a big waist high full toss. I think Watson's probably played underneath it. And I'm pretty sure it's hit the stumps on the full. That's an extraordinary dismissal, really. It was definitely a quicker delivery. Push through. Tough to explain really what's happened there. A regulation full toss. But just bizarre dismissal. That's four. It's a short boundary there. There's a man at deep point, but you've got no chance. He's a good cricketer. Enrique's good fieldsman. Smith down the ground, beautifully hit. Hits the fence on the full, that'll be six. Well, it wasn't a bad delivery from Zampa. Well, that'll be six. That's been his mistake delivery a couple of times now. Really short ones. It's that shorter one again. The Quicker delivery, well timed from Enriquez. Good over for New South Wales. It's three for 132. Ah! Latest to the crease. It's just, oh, in fact, I was going to say it's just wide of him, but he got there very well, Gary Putland. Actually got his hands on it, and it was only when he hit the ground that the ball bounced out. He's done, he's done a, he's had a great effort there to actually get to the ball. He's had it in his hands, elbows hit the ground, and it's just come out. Yes. We know that 300 is definitely par. Well, that's well hit. At mid-off, and he's taken it. I thought it was going to clear mid-off. Moses Enriquez had one look at mid-off and thought, I can clear him, but he's found out otherwise. Fifty to Steve Smith. I don't think Chris Gargo hit it that big either. That's a wonderful half century there by Steve Smith. We're going to need to see another captain's knock by Steve Smith here today. He was very, very tidy. But Rodney definitely made up for him. That's a very good piece of work in the field.
it's almost a, a case of a hit and run there. And he's out by about a metre and a half. It's fantastic fielding there by Sam Raphael. All along to just keep trying to take wickets because that's the best way to peg him back. Catch it. Another one, no. That's four this time. Abbott finds a gap just. Nicely timed. He's not giving it to them. Oh, Abbott's hit that a long way. He tossed that one up, Adam Zampa. And Sean Abbott said, thank you. And he's hit it up on the roof. Oh, that's a sweep shot up on the roof. Beautifully struck. That's out. Oh, good catch. Really good catch. It was a slower ball. Adam Zamp has taken an excellent one-hander at mid-wicket. That's a big blow for New South Wales. A chance here if he hits, and he has. That's another one. So the fielding has been brilliant from South Australia. That's two for Raphael, two direct hits. And it's exactly what you have to do at North Sydney Oval from a bowling and fielding perspective. Going to turn half chances, chances. The wickets. Two attempts, two hits. Go. Oh, he's hit that really well, just inside the boundary rope. Oh, that's well bowled. Gary Putland going right through Mitchell Stark. Stark looking to push on. Beaten by a good one. So to the left of screen, they've just moved a man out onto the rope. There at the bottom of screen, they've moved third man up. Oh, dangerous. He missed his lines and lengths. Did Kane Richardson and Sandu helped himself. And it was two for 73. Full toss. Can he hit? The bowler does well. And the run out's achieved. And once again, very good fielding. This time, I think it's from Travis Head at mid on. Ke kept calm there. He had an opportunity to throw at the stumps, but he'd realised that the non striker had, had backed up too far. So he didn't throw it, he just lobbed the ball in to Putland, who also did well to get back to the stumps. That's excellent work. And another run out of a New South Wales batsman puts them in trouble. And then put the afterburners on to get home. Here's many, last over. Oh, is there a fielder out there? There is, and he, all he can do is look up. Because Lyon takes six from the first ball of the last over. Good ball. Really good ball. One last run out. No, it's a misfield. And a second run. Nathan Lyon extremely aware to push Sandu through for two. And that partnership threw up 23 runs off 16 balls. It's handy. And in the end, they get themselves to 266 for nine, New South Wales. I think South Australia will be fairly happy with that. Having won the toss and put New South Wales in the back. Travis Head, the captain, fresh off a fantastic innings early in this week. Tim Ludeman, dangerous hitter at the non-strikers end. Oh, he's bowled! Second ball, the first one was a wide, the second straight through him. It's up and over, safe all the way. Or top edge. Handy result. But again, too quick by Stark. The four is to South Australia. Anyway, Sandu is good delivery. Very difficult to hit. He knows. Oh, he's chopped it on as well. There's been an outside edge. Now an inside edge onto the stumps. And Sandu picks up one to go with Stark. But the bowler's umpire called it. He was confident that went over the head height. Follows it up with a skewed drive, and he's caught at cover. <laughs> Slashing. At times, that can be caught. If it's in the air much longer, it can be caught at third man, but that's a four. Sand to win the ball. Oh, good shot. Stayed on the front foot, slashed it through the gap. Sandu just a touch short. 
Oh, it's edge dropped. Steve Smith had a long way to come across in front of Shane Watson, did it, but then put it down. Little flip sweep for four. Very well played. Short boundary down there. He's made it past the short third man. That's all you have to do at North Sydney Oval, and that'll be four. Might be nice as well. Confidence out, and he's given him. Beauty! Yes. Extremely convincing first, shout from Steve O'Keefe. Pad first. Yes, two. Punches that through cover. He might get four for that. He does. Time that beautifully. Short and smash behind point for four. Beautifully timed. Well, unusual starts for North Sydney over for both sides, really, in this matter. Of that. That's close, very close indeed, and out. Well, Ross is, doesn't look overly happy. Just judging by his reaction, he, he he thinks he may have hit this, I reckon. Certainly looked good stump to stump. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Nice use of the feet and placement. an edge is it Sean Abbott certainly thinks so and eventually gets the the finger though it took a long time coming eventually Tom Cooper will have to go he doesn't look all that happy either it was an extended appeal With a thick edge it's down to find third man it'll be four actually all the boundaries are fairly short here at North Sydney Oval I reckon there'll be a few New South Wales with sore throats All oh, right through him. That's what he's done so well, Mitchell Stark, over the last probably two years. Knocked over the tail and hit the stumps regularly. And Steve Smith has brought a change this over. He's put himself into that, that position, number one there, from out of the slip, first slip he was last over, packing that offside. That's pretty well hit, but straight to Nathan Lyon. Got into a good position. Got in position early so that he was camped right underneath it. There's no one out in the deep. And it wouldn't have mattered because it's cleared the rope. First ball of this. And easily stumped. Beautifully flighted there from Nathan Lyon. He'll take that every time. A hit for six and then a stumping. Great sucker ball. Tom Andrews, no real intent once he got down there. Probably knew he'd been beaten in flight and then blow me down. It spins as well. Pete Neville is ready. And he's done it. As he has so often in the last 12 months or so, Mitchell Stark crashing into the stumps of the lower order players and New South Wales have got the double bonus point again. Just enough swing again. Angled in, stops angling, straightens up and takes off stump. He gets the line right. Perfect. For a man of the match performance, Mitchell Stark. 10 wickets in a week and taken 10 for 110 we thought 266 was very gettable South Australia so uh, the New South Wales Blues 9 for 266 South Australia bowled out for 110 New South Wales win by 156 they collect six points